So one of the questions I get asked all the time are what are halo beacons? Halo kits have one halo beacon which comes with the kit itself and it's really meant for indoor use and it's really not waterproof. They're basically small portable devices that can be placed anywhere uh, to support whatever your boundary is. And there's three different types. There's indoor beacons, outdoor beacons, and USB beacons. Indoor beacons can be used anywhere that isn't exposed to weather conditions. Outdoor beacons can be really used anywhere, so even outside, for example, in my garden. And USB beacons can be used anywhere that they can be plugged into an outlet. Basically, all these beacons have two functionalities that you can choose from. They, you can either have them uh, keep away from something or completely ignore the fence. The keep away setting is used to keep your dog from entering unwanted or unsafe areas and keep away beacons trigger alerts that act like any other dog boundary when your dog comes near them. Each beacon settings can be customized, including the type of beacon, the beacon's name, and the size of the radius that the beacon radius is spherical. It's not flat, which means that if you set your beacon's radius to a high setting, it can actually be triggered upstairs, downstairs, any floor in your house. So you have to think about whether or not it's really the right fit to use. Now, what's the best way to use a beacon? Your beacon kind of gives you, you and your dog more freedom to determine where the dog can go and or where problem areas might be. For example, if you're using a beacon for training, you might choose to keep that beacon's radius small so that the dog only receives feedback when they're close to the beacon. Uh, for example, a bathroom. Let's say your dog tends to get into trash. Uh, alternatively, if you're using a different beacon to keep your dog out of an entire room, that you might set that beacon to a higher radius so that your dog receives the feedback at the doorway or throughout the room. So what I wanna show you in this video is how to set up a beacon and use it she tends to like to get into trash, uh, things in the bathroom or things in our kitchen. And that's probably because I forget to close the, the door of the trash every once in a while. That would be a great use for a beacon to have a very small radius so that she doesn't go around that trash can. So I'm gonna set it up and see how it works. So in this box, this is what came with my original halo, or I should say my second halo as a matter of fact. is a small device called a beacon. Now this one is an indoor beacon. It can be used for training, but it can also be used in your house later on if you need to keep them out of an area or if you want to open up a space for your dog. And I'm going to flip up and I'm going to hit bacon. My in order to use a hill, please add them to your account. So I'm going to add a beacon. Okay, so I'm going to connect, hit next, make this subscribe if helpful, and now I can choose whether or not I want it to keep away or if I wanted to ignore fences. Use the button below range for this beacon. The range will apply when the halo collars approach the beacon. We'll start with a level three. Okay, so here's my trash can, here's my halo beacon, and my dog. She actually doesn't have her collar on right now. But what I'm gonna do is I put a three foot radius on this. Okay, so here's my cop. Whoop. There we go. So a great use for a beacon might be like on a certain piece of furniture or maybe in a specific room or maybe a garbage can or bathroom. One of the things you have to remember is that it works as a radius, which means it's kind of coming out from whatever the uh, beacon, wherever it's placed. So here's my beacon. I have a brown leather chair over here. I'm gonna place it in. I'm gonna actually walk in the room with the collar and we're gonna see how quickly this feedback gives off. There we go. This way. There we go. So that's kind of how the halo beacon works. Now that I'm moving away, it'll stop. So one of the things I also want to point out is you'll notice what it's, when I'm actually testing out the collar, 
I'm actually rocking it in my hand. And there's actually a reason for that. This tells the collar to start to react and listen to what it's listening for. We tend to hold things very still and it can't pick up that it's actually in movement very well. So it, you, you're gonna get more inconsistency. And that's one of those things, you kinda have to play around with it. Don't feel like this is a two minute setup. This is gonna take a while. So would it be fair of me to not explain a little bit about the beacon? The beacon has a lot of nuances. It can be very frustrating. I was able to test it out and get pretty good consistency, but there are times that I edited out things that just weren't happening the way they were supposed to happening. Uh, I know I referred to in this video as a three foot radius. The truth is different things can block how that signal's coming out. So I just want you to be aware, playing with that halo really does take some time, specifically that beacon. It does work, um, but it, it can be a little bit frustrating. And if you're feeling frustrated with it, I'm gonna tell you, it's a tool. And think about what a tool is. Not all tools are the right fit for the job. So you might have to explore some other options. However, it is a great option if you have a dog that can't exit an entryway because of a certain halo collar um, boundary. And that way you can actually release the boundary for the dog. Or it is a great fit for a dog who gets up on a counter or likes to search through trash. Um, also, the halo beacons, you can decide to turn them on or off. I uh, came into my room the other day and my dog was helping herself to a snack uh, a taco actually on the side of the table. And that's like a perfect example of where I could have just tossed a, a beacon right on the table, had a one foot radius so that as soon as she started to come close and sniff, uh, she would have gotten some sort of feedback uh, for her. So um, I just wanna kind of give a couple of side notes about the Halo Beacon and kind of how I feel about it. I feel like it's a great tool. I just really wish it had that solid consistency, but Quite frankly, it's working off of Wi-Fi. It has things blocking it. This is, again, one of those things that just has a lot of variables. Anyways, if you found this video useful or informative and is helping you kind of inform your choice about how to use the collar, please like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you use any affiliate links down below, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.